Well, for quite a while, I have been dealing with dust collection um, inadequately, to say the least. Fortunately, my dad gave me his dust collector when he gave me his table saw to use. What we're gonna do today is build a rolling cart for the dust collector, which has been collecting dust under the table for quite a while now. It's a, the important stuff, it's a 110, so it plugs into a standard 110 outlet. Uh, and it is a three quarter horsepower motor. This will be an intermediate step between what I've got currently, which isn't very good, and what I eventually will have, which will be cabinets with dust collection hoses run underneath and inside the cabinetry to all the tools. Go ahead and utilize some uh, scrap steel and some wood I have lying around, and we're gonna build a rolling cart for this baby and get it up at operation. So I got a piece of uh, one by one steel tubing. This was from a countertop project that I worked on. And then uh, old framework from a uh, pressure tank support that a buddy of mine gave me. So we're gonna repurpose all this steel. We're gonna get it cut down to the rough lengths, actually pretty close to the correct lengths. Getting ready to clean up the ends on all the steel framework we're going to utilize for the dust collection cart. Thank you, my dear. Yep. Open the door and take this down to the. Take that down. Another thing down to the house for me, would you? The dog. Oh. The yog. Why do you lock them up? Because I don't want to get sparks on them. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Thank you. You know, for how much I pay for an unnamed brand, you'd think they'd make a better lid. So we have the square framework for the base of the cart. Uh, I saved you guys the hassle, but I screwed a couple of pieces of plywood down as stops to make a perfect 90. I used the square, squared them up. There's also a 20 by 22 rectangle drawn on the table to make sure these go down the lines perfectly and land on the corners where I wanted. I'm gonna go ahead and tack it on my wooden table because I don't have a big enough welding table to really do this well. So I'm gonna tack the corners, make sure everything's perfectly square on this table where I can where I can use wood, unfortunately, to get everything lined up. And you can see I've, I've welded on this table before all the spatter marks and whatnot. But someday down the road I'll get a welding table and I won't uh, <laughs> won't be doing this anymore. But for right now it works actually pretty well and it's pretty quick, right? I, I screw right to the table. I got the 90 degree corners all set up. We're gonna tack the corners, check it for.
Well, we're at the point where we need to start fitting the plywood to the two spots. Uh, this one actually just happened to be uh, about a quarter inch bigger on one side than I needed. Bottom piece, which is this, and it is pretty dang close to the right size also. So all we gotta do, set her in here. I'm going to mark on the top so that mark I just made all the way around the outside you can see I'm going to go run this through my router and remove uh, about 25% of the thickness of this so that it actually lifts up into the bottom of this so I don't have a place for dust and stuff to settle out and get caught I think it'll look a little nicer also. It's a lot better than it was. I like that quite a bit. Definitely not the worst upside down weld I've ever made. Not the best, that's for sure. But not terrible. Well, we got the cart flipped upside down. I need to lay out the wheels with the spacers. Well, we're all painted up and it's time for final assembly. So we're gonna go ahead and put this baby all together and get the dust collector put on it and ready to use. Well, we're gonna give it a whirl and see what we think. So, got the, I mean, I, I know the dust collector works, but the cart and everything, so. Get rid of this vacuum for a little bit here. I've got to say, I'm pretty happy with that. Got the dust collection cart done. So this is a blower that uh, I got from my dad. When we relocated his table saw into my shop, and this has been sitting under my workbench for, I don't know, almost close to a year now. But I got it finally in a place where we can use it. It's on the roll around cart. This is not its permanent home, but for now, this will definitely serve its purpose in that I'll be able to move this from the jointer behind me over to the table saw, over to the band saw. Those all have four inch adapters for this hose. In any case, 
it's all wrapped up. I think it turned out really well. I'm really happy with it, and I think it'll definitely serve its purpose for me uh, in the short term here in my shop. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, we'll check out some of these other links. I'll have my garage series, tractor series of videos. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Check me out on Instagram and Facebook. I really appreciate uh, all your guys' support. Thanks for watching.